Hi, this is Nicola Thier from DS Providence. I'm going to show you how easy and powerful it is to use Abacus on a SOLIDWORKS model. So we're going to use this rubber isolator example that involves large deformation with complex contact and sequential loading for the simulation. This is a 3D experience platform and we're importing the SOLIDWORKS model within the platform. Here it is. First, we're creating a simulation model. So the mesh is automatically generated. We can also choose the type of element and we can control the size of the elements. Material can be created by the user or we can use existing materials from the database. Here we are applying three different types of material for the three different components. Next, we're creating a simulation scenario we choose a structural. In the tree, we have under model, geometry, mesh, properties, and materials. Under scenario, steps, loads, boundary conditions, interactions. Under results, 3D plots, history plots, and sensors. So we're defining different abacus steps. For example, here we're defining a preload along the Y direction, and then we're defining a preload along the X direction. So we can apply, for example, 800 Newton along a direction, 2500 Newton along a different direction. So in one simulation model, we have got sequential loading captured. Now for contacts, we have Abacus robust contacts. So we can define coefficient of friction and we can use general contacts for automatic contact detection. The model is set up, we're ready to simulate. So I've used four cores and I was able to run the simulation in less than an half an hour to get this result. So the animation of the 3D plots, it's pretty fast and we can notice the large deformation and the self contacts. So you've seen how easy and powerful it is to use Abacus on a SOLIDWORKS model.